Greetings, Laddingtons. Welcome to the Q&A. I will get straight into it. We have some nice questions here. Not as many as last time, because I am... Um, the more questions, the less time I can spend on each question. So this will be a bit shorter, but hopefully a great video nonetheless. So, we begin. Hello, Marcus. Will you write another politically oriented book in the future? I've purchased both runs of Dauntless and find your writing style pleasant to read. So if you're planning on releasing another book in the future, it would be a great addition to the world's literature. The same goes for Julia's cookbook. I'm having ordered it for my wife and want to support physical aspects of the culture as much as possible. However, even if the book is not political in nature, I'm sure it will be highly glorious. So, yes, I actually thought about making an announcement video, but I can announce it now and I can announce it as we um, progress further along the way. I am currently writing a second book, which will be more about the mind. Uh, so Dauntless is very... Well, first and foremost, I forgot. Thank you very much for the, the kind words and your support. Uh, truly appreciated. And my wife appreciates it very much as well. So thank you to everyone who's ordered Dauntless and Old World Fist. Now, back to the book announcement, uh, which isn't really an announcement. I'm just saying what I'm doing now. Uh, Dauntless is a bit more the practical aspects you can, you can do in your life. The coming book will be a bit more about the mind, how you can think about yourself, how others try to influence you, how you are influenced by culture, how the great enemy tries to subvert your mind via different um, magic spells, magic propaganda, mental techniques, whatever we uh, shall call it. I like to use the term magic because it encompasses quite a lot of things, but if you don't want to use the term magic, you can say... Uh, mental warfare or propaganda or whatever it might be. So basically my next book will be more on the mental aspect, how you can think about yourself to achieve certain results, how you can view culture to see how they are trying to influence you, what sort of culture you can expose yourself to in order to gain certain results. So um, yeah, I will, um, I will elaborate more on it later on, but that's the short answer. More books are coming. I am books maxing like crazy now and I am um, I'm author maxing as well. Good times, good times. Second question. What are your favorite video games of all time and why? I will make a separate video on this, but I would say the greatest game of all time by far actually. I don't really see any competitor to it is The Witcher 3. Um, again, I will make a separate video where I talk about the books and the game, because I've read all of the books. Uh, the game, just great in every single way. I can't recommend it highly enough, even if you aren't a, a gamer, even if you aren't familiar with uh, computer games or video games, I would still recommend it just because of the the stories. You know, you have side quests in the game that you know can, can hit your heart even, because they're quite, yeah, quite deep, uh, actually. There is one mission concerning a baron and his wife, which, um, yeah, it hit me at least. I will talk more about it at a later time. Then, of course, you have the aesthetics, you have the music, you, uh, yeah, it feels like you're going into a mythological Europe of the late Middle Ages. Absolutely great. I um, Again, I can't recommend it enough. Then, of course, Age of Empires 2. I think most of us, many of us, we have grown up with it. In my last video, I mentioned it as well, since I had a vision from there. Uh, from those campaigns, so it's perhaps not the greatest game of all time, but it's the game that has had the biggest impact, I would say. Uh, on a personal note, Age of Mythology also had a great impact on me, and uh, same thing there, just the, the feel of it, really, really great stuff. Third question, thoughts on everything going on in Canada right now? I haven't really delved all the deep into it, but of course I am on the side of the um, of the people there. And this is what happens if a regime is kicking on a people for long enough and, you know, subjecting them to various uh, humiliating measures. Yeah, people will rise up against it, just as the truckers have done now. And I completely understand it. I completely understand that people are getting 
angry when they are being treated in uh, this way. So I know the regime, they are always talking about democracy here and democracy there, but then they see democracy in action and say that it's uh, something else. Uh, but in my view, this is the people making a stand against a regime. Uh, and of course, I'm no fan of uh, Justin Trudeau. I think he is um, a bit of a vicious man. Uh, can't say too much, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm no fan of him in the least. So he could resign and I would be happier for it. But again, he would probably just be replaced by another puppet. So I'm not sure how much difference it would make. But yeah, I'm on the side of the, the people of Canada against the regime, of course. Now, we have some spicier questions that I will respond to in uh, the podcast. So, um, so yeah, I will respond to some questions there. But we have a few more questions that I will get into. Greetings, Marcus. I have enjoyed your content very much and, of course, your glorious garments of Legia Gloria. In fact, I've gotten several younger Laddingtons. I am the same age as you, a fellow Leo. Good stuff, good stuff to get into your content. That is highly appreciated. Thank you very much for that. And continuing, I have a few questions. What are your latest projects that you are working on and what can we expect next? Yes, as I began, I am currently writing a new book. Perhaps it will even be out later this year if I manage to work hard enough uh, but yeah, I will keep you all updated on it. Then in terms of clothing, it's full steam ahead. A massive linen release coming out in the spring. I have fallen in love with linen, such a great material. I've also fallen in love with wool. Some more wool garments are coming out in the autumn. And then some other garments as well. Loose fitting underwear in organic cotton. So I wanted it for myself and I thought all of my Laddingtons need that as well. So that is incoming. The second thing, have a few more supplements coming in for the American YouTube name page. So collagen and zinc and also coffee for good old America. I am currently in the process of testing some coffee from uh, a roastery in, uh, in the US. So I'm just going to see if it's up to par. So my Valiant Laddingtons in the US are well supplied with high quality coffee. So yeah, good times, many things incoming. And I have some more cool artwork that I want to share. The final question we have is the following. Have you read the Aurea Linda manuscript? If so, what do you think of it? I have not read it myself. However, when there are things that are up for discussion or interpretation, I always simply ask. I send my man Tom Rousel, Survive the Jive. I send him a message. I ask, what do you think of this? And then he either says this is not reasonable at all, or he says, yeah, there is some truth to it. In this particular case, he says it's not uh, legit, and I trust him. I do know that another content creator, which I very much appreciate, Asha Logos, shout out, he makes great videos. He has made videos on it, which I think, yeah, they're very compelling. He makes compelling arguments for them. But I will go with um, Survive the Jive's take on it in this particular instance, but I do recommend you to check out Asha Logos, all of his videos. They are really well made and he doesn't say for certain that anything is in a certain way, but he presents certain things that you can contemplate yourself. So yeah, I would recommend his, uh, his videos. Now to all of my supporters, thank you very much and thank you to everyone for watching the video. XOXO, boom!